All right there, Helldiver. It's time for you to have a little chat with a friendly democracy officer. Don't worry, you're not in trouble. We've just heard some rumors circulating around, and we want to make sure that you know the truth. So I'm going to be debunking five anti-democratic myths and I'm gonna try to do it in under five minutes. Go ahead and liberate that like button to spread managed democracy across the universe. And if you could tap that subscribe button, it put me so much closer to my goal of a thousand subscribers. Let's dive right on into it. Some people believe that Super Earth is the aggressor in the universe. These alien sympathizers have clearly not actually thought this through. Are the bugs and bots peaceful? Have you ever tried to give them a hug? Only Helldivers hug you back. That's the only proof I need, but I'll give you some more to quell your treasonous thoughts. Some of the automatons have chainsaws attached to their hands. Does that seem peaceful to you? And if the bugs could vote, then they wouldn't be farmed for oil. Furthermore, they reproduce by laying their eggs in the graves of fallen soldiers. That doesn't sound very democratic to me. Don't listen to any of those idiots that might try to poison your mind with alternative ideas that are not deemed reliable by the Ministry of Truth. The second myth that I would like to debunk is that some people have actually speculated that the emotionless tin cans have ties to the ancient cyborg socialist terrorist organization from the First Galactic War. This is ridiculous. Sure, their symbol is the same. But the cyborgs are mutilated humans who have to kidnap babies because they lost their ability to procreate. In contrast, the automatrons are glorified toasters who only want to kill humans because their society revolves around violence. Rumors that the automatons are extracting their captives' brains are to be ignored as disinformation. Ask yourself, why would a toaster need a brain? And then report these dissonance to your closest democracy officer. The next myth that I wish to discuss is the idea that people should vote for the candidate they want instead of who the algorithm selects for them. Listen, we've tried this. Doing research on a candidate is a lot of work and people aren't political experts, nor should they be. That's just ridiculous. People should focus on what they like, and filling out that survey will let the algorithm know which candidate aligns with their own personal views. Furthermore, this eliminates candidates lying because every candidate has been personally vetted by the Ministry of Truth, so we can believe everything they say. If you want to vote for a personal candidate, you can go ahead and fill in that like button, which is a vote to spread managed democracy across the universe. Of course, this is optional and anonymous, so failure to vote will not result in you being detained and exported to Freedom Camp. But speaking of Freedom Camp, I'd like to debunk a popular myth about that. There have been rumors circulating around that Helldivers that don't make it to extraction get sent to Freedom Camp. This is ridiculous. On its face, any Helldiver that doesn't make it to extract in time that are true patriots go down in a blaze of glory, fighting the enemies of managed democracy till their last breath. But you won't have to worry about that, Helldiver, because you are invincible. Without a doubt, you'll fight your way back to the Super Destroyer so that you can continue the good fight. The final piece of propaganda that I wish to correct is that the Illuminate are not extinct. Everybody knows that these planet-destroying monsters were made extinct in the First Galactic War. I hear fools shouting about blue lasers in the sky all the time, and citing this as a source of proof that they still exist. These idiots clearly have never seen an ion storm. You obviously can't take anything that they say seriously. What are they gonna say next? That bugs can fly? Oh, wait, what, what, what is that? Ah! <laughs> all right, thank you all so much for watching. Like, subscribe, all the things I'm supposed to say, but mostly I hope that you have a wonderful day. The winner of the giveaway contest was Dylan Groves. I plan on doing another giveaway in the future here. I can't do it every week because that's really not financially sustainable for me, but I plan on doing another one next month. As I said earlier, have a wonderful day and here's some content of mine that YouTube thinks you'll enjoy.